Louis. We got more treasure. Shoot. Thought that was everything. Okay. Where's the treasure? No camera angles, please. Super zoomed in. Can't see the water race still. Not allowed to. Ease this way. You out of the way. How many times have I seen the uh, World Wraith on this version? Is this only, this is one? Is that the first vision? Okay, great, I'm glad, uh, wait, can I aim, can I aim? Okay, so we found the cave. Bottom left is the answer. All right, thank you. Anno Dweevil. I'm just gonna hold, I'm gonna hug the right wall because eventually I'll find what I'm after. That's how mazes work, by the way. Literally, you want to ever get out of any maze ever? Uh, preferably without the Pikmin deaths on the side. Stick to one wall, you'll get everything eventually. Well, thank you, Makilena, for the host. I much appreciate it, and you know I need it. I don't quite know what that means, but alright. Oh, hey, Bowman. Alright, you can join me. Might not be your best decision, but great. I like to think that this is a story that'll be told by legend, in legends, you know? There were many sacrifices, and there were many different chapters, but this is the chapter of Louis as the final scout. It's, it's very well known that there's one more thing in this land that needs to be grabbed. I can't tell if it's here. That's a blowhog. That's an egg. There's nothing else, we'll have to go there. But this is one of those things. Knowing, knowing the dangers that were lying within, one brave ex, ex uh, what are they called? Expedita? Explorer? He decided to sacrifice his own livelihood. He came with one bold mint friend on the side. Together. They found this cave. They explored it. They guided the whole platoon to where they needed to go. And all was good. However, it was without issues. For hours he seemed to be searching, with nary of a success. All Wraith was hot on his tails, but he didn't see him. He managed to escape with aid, or he managed to evade and escape. I am pretty sure it's behind one of the walls, so now it's just a matter of finding the platoon again. Is it this way? Come here. Alrighty, thank you. That's not written in the books. Louis has told us to be a heroic member who who did wonderful things for his crew. He never told anyone of the electrocution issue of me. Okay, to the wall. Shoot, right in my way. Yeah, go that way. Nope. Hide in the corner, guys. That's a second vision, but that's fine. So we got around him. Uh, that's not even the way. This is the way. Thank you, Withering Blowhog. Get out of here. So, we know that way's an egg. And, uh, good. He can't throw you off the wall. Things are looking up. Much we're going down. So, hi everyone. We're at 35 people. What's the rule? We got, we got multiple, rules, multiple rules playing right now. That's just a candy bar, bud. Where's the treasure? Well, it's a safety spot anyway. No. No. Alright, I'm gonna have to count that as a, as a, as a thing. Right. There's our sacrifice. Where is this treasure then? Also, it's changed my angle. Did it do that automatically? Did I do that accidentally? Is this the angle I was at? I was zoomed in more, right? Okay, it was just the angle of the wall. Okay, I was just changing it to get it back. Yeah, it turned out that was fruitless. Okay. Why don't I follow my treasure gauge rather than just looking at the map? Like right here? Are you kidding me? It's the 
withering glow hog, the treasure. Oh no. All right, that was not a vision. Didn't see him, just his rollers. Alrighty. Now he's stuck. That's fun. Don't turn at me. Shoot, I told you not. Ah, withering blow hog. All right, that was one. We already had the sacrifice last time. Valiants of uh, a few valiants, that's all they're called. The valiants they came to try and fight him head on, and yet he was in a position in an impossible place requiring whites. Well, then let's find that then. The next chapter after Louis's ambitious solo expedition was the singular white, the crimson hero. Crimson Savior. Ooh. He is to be our, our potential. He may be all that's needed. He goes. He, sp he smells nothing. Perhaps he was simply not in the right place. Here comes Vision. Coming soon to a theater near you. I want to go that way. Crimson Hero continues sniffing the region. The region. How did that destroy itself? Some questions are better left unturned. There were a lot of mysteries in this cave, and Louis was not going to discover everything. Not single handed here. It's... Alrighty. Mr. Guy is right there again. Too high up to reach. Anyone else seeing this? So, um, what do people suggest I do? I think I'm literally stuck because they literally cannot be carried. In fact, he's not even blowing us. Is he? No, he's glitched. I've got a glitched withering blowhole here. Well, he's moving a little bit. Captain's up here, so I can't get the extra height. And I can't hit him. So, uh, what am I to do? Stand on the Pikmin. That sounds like a great plan. How about here? Oh, we have reach. Can't aim on him. Nope, we're about to lose. I think I'm gonna have to call that a bust. Oh yeah, we don't have white. We have a white with us. Crimson Hero fought valiantly. He was one of the final valiants. He was a valiant elite, as much as he wasn't part of the original valiant crew. His life was taken away from us, but it wasn't in vain. He's in valiants. And it says. Some feel that there was a little bit of information taken out of the historic books. Others say nay. That would never be. Debate goes on even to this day. The Crimson Hero is never forgotten. Why am I calling him Crimson? Crimson is red. I meant ivory this whole time. God damn it! Dumb! Colorblind! I can't get through. I'm stuck. One whistle, remember? Oh, you're right! Shoot, I forgot about that. Skip. I think we're gonna have to go for skip. It's weird. There seems to be a, a common graffiti place in the history books. The original texts say Crimson Hero, yet every ancient manuscript you ever find detailing it very clearly has the Crimson name scribbled out and a poorly handwritten ivory put atop the top. It caused many historians to wonder what was actually the, the origin of the hero. Perhaps there were two heroes, an ivory and a crimson. The crimson being the original, and the ivory being the one who succeeded. Again, there are many debates about what happened under that castle. Local witness Louis refuses to speak. 
Akiharu, thank you for the bits. You can either skip it since it's impossible treasure or reset. Your choice. I chose to skip it. Thank you. All right, I need to hurry up. I've got them backwards. There we go. That's the point. I got it. I got them right way round, but it was backwards. Uh, I need to. Okay, I guess I can't change the angle from this. This is the default. Okay. It's gonna be harder to keep my eye off of the weight of water rate, but it's what we got. Okay, 35 on here. God, that looks ugly. Just a screenshot of him covered in his own like spotty children. Ugh. Now actually, we could really use it for eggs. Oh, also uh, from that last thing. There we go. There's all those claps for the dead. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. One whistle. That was the second whistle. Okay, well, uh, I guess that counted. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This ain't fun anymore. This ain't fun. Oh, my lord, I forgot everything in the mother was in this cave. Oops, that was me from trying to swarm. Go back. Yeah, no, it doesn't blow up the gate. Just my luck, ain't it? Okay. I liked the zoom in effect on this cave, but apparently it's not an option. Oh, flip beetle. Flip beetle. Oh my god, no! When asked what happened from that whole night, so he only shuddered. He shuddered twice. He shuddered four, five, six, seven times. It was a. Some often call it the, the seizure castle. Oh, you're right. We had 42, I think. Now we have 20. So, uh... <sighs> Our fallen comrades. Cloop. What a sound effect. I want to see plenty of claps in the chat. I didn't say what the name of this treasure. So I guess that's another one for the gods. to be a high value, god damn it. Wait, wait, controller. There you go. Okay, so at this point, we now need to... Oh, okay, I got rid of the poison. The hazards are randomly dying. Is it like a random helpful thing? I'm not quite sure what that is, but all right. We might not actually have the strength to carry a treasure. We might have to skip any ones that we don't have enough for. Keep an eye out for it. Change the title to Ripmin. Uh, my poor throat as well, it's weird. It's being achy on me now. You know it's coming! You know it is! It knows when you are sleeping, it knows when you're awake. It comes and tries to crush your friends. Forever you will quake. Or shake. That would probably make more sense. <laughs> Alright, let's find that last pigment, shall we? <gasps> oh, I know, they can all die in an explosion. I can't check my map either. There you are. How am I gonna get it through this? I have to destroy the enemies. More than anything, enemies are the priority. Dudes. Come on, I need to get rid of the hazards so I can take the treasure easily. 
That was what was wrong with the withering blowhog scenario. So here, you can get right out of here. Except that's gonna land right on top of us anyway. And someone's sticking around. Alright, looks like we're not getting that treasure. Oh no, we're good. Where's my aim? Go over there. Bomb rock, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. Yeah! Yeah! Best case scenario! Right here! Best case! Beautiful! And speaking of fall, there comes the water wraith. Is there anything over here? Doesn't look it. Okay. 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 Here's where the fun begins. <sighs> Thank you, Daz. Now I'm gonna have my nightmares of the water wraith climbing through the chimney. Yeah, that's fine. The water wraith is actually Santa. Look at all the gifts he's giving us. Spirits and vo echoing voices that'll never leave us. Bomberman, thank you for cheering for five bits. You can throw in a. You can throw in a rule. Make it a mini one. The bigger the, the bigger the bits, or the bigger the uh, the donation, the bigger the rule. Would be a nice general thing to follow. But not something that's breaking. Like, don't say you can't whistle, or you can't throw. Unless you make it swarm only, and I guess that could be a thing. Please don't. Or throw only, no swarming. That sounds more doable, doesn't it? Don't give me just a hmm, bomber man. I saw that. I saw that hmm pop up. That's a sighting. That's a sighting. That's one out of three. Is that one out of three? Are we on two out of three? Or is that three out of three? Can't actually tell which one we're on. Alright, that's sighting number two anyway. I'm gonna count it as one and two. Ah, it's not counting. Not counting that. I don't want to break. Nope. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, you're thinking. Great. You, you know what? Why don't you think for another half hour? Oh, come on. I mean, that's kind of cheap, but all right. You get a sacrifice. Good lord. Or you don't. Yeah, have a sacrifice, dude. Gonna, there we go. Now the sacrifice number repeats. Hopefully you go for that. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's one again. Uh, that's still counting as one. That's not two and three. So one. Get out of here, that's all I ask. Just get out of here. No, stay on middle. There we go. Think next floor. Alright, that's uh, two. Thank you, Water Rave. Can you get out of here, please? Point. We can't do that treasure. And that's three. So we definitely can't do that treasure. Unless you postpone the sacrifice so we can get that treasure. Alright. We're gonna... Wait. Oh, it survived. Where is it? Where's my sacrifice? Where'd it go? Because we got spot for 20. There, okay. We're gonna set, just get this treasure and then we'll give it the two sacrifices it deserves. Oh, it's gonna take him out right now. Survive! Nope! Alrighty! Alrighty, rip treasure! Rip Pikmin 2! Rip Min 2! I'm gonna make a slight adjustment to the uh, angle rule and keep myself zoomed in so I don't have to keep looking at the guy. It just automatically put me on medium, but I wanted it to be zoomed in the whole time. So, uh... Alright. <sighs> 63 go in. 3. Come out. 4. 5. 4. 4. Current death rate of 59 blues. Not even counting the bolt. Okay. Are there any other treasures we need to worry about? Not, then I might be able to go to the next level already. There's new stuff here. You a treasure? You're at the cave. Or the exit. And I can't get you to swarm. 
Right, throw. Get on the wall. No! No! How? We're on the wall. We're on the wall. You can't do that. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. He's trying. Okay. I'm going to have to count this as two. Don't you dare crush anymore. Louis says no. Bomb Rock says yes. Bomb Rock says yes. I can't whistle them. Okay, four. We're on four. We will beat this with two. You will do nothing. You will do nothing. The vision is going out for the moment. Welcome to chapter nine of the super of the sub. Uh, God damn it, submerged castle to be. Louis distracts the water wraith while four final survivors come to take down the final wall to let them in to the next realm and out of this hell. They don't need much. They don't ask for much. They just want their lives. And Louis put his is put his is puts his on the line once more. For the sake of the land, he stares off the water wraith. Asking in person, he says he doesn't remember it. Or perhaps he's simply repressed it. Either way, this is potentially our final chapter. The pages are running thin. The book near its end. Will it end with a valiant victory? Will it end with a horrible defeat? At the very least, we know Louis will survive. He is our witness, as much as he doesn't speak much. He shudders a lot, though, so I guess he's making enough vibrations in the air that it's making some kind of sound. Who knows? Will this be a story of Honor, Louis, and four valiant Pikmin surviving? Perhaps only two. Perhaps even Olimar himself won't survive. We'll have to see. You know what? I agree. The chat is shouting for one thing. Punches. Oh. In that case, looks like it's Onima's go. So, what was that whole Louis witness thing? Perhaps only Onima survived, but he kept Louis's corpse. He just sucked it up right there. That was it. That you didn't see it on camera, but he just sucked it up. Perhaps he's even wearing his skin. He couldn't. He couldn't deal with the pure frustrations of having to, oh, having to be the captain for this whole expedition and see it fail so intensely to have your best friend and co-worker down by your command. He couldn't live with himself. He decided his only fate would be to not be. It was supposed to be him that died that night. He made sure that would be the case. He wore Louis' skin as a final goodbye, keeping Louis' life on in the only form of records, but it's better than Onoma. Onoma survived that night, but only in Louis' skin. Arnold went back to Louis' grandma. He ate cookies and pretended nothing happened. In that reality, he's been living a lie. Because Louis wasn't the one that survived that night. Nor was that one bulbman on the corner there. It was Oliver. And only Oliver. Even with the crew he sees with him right now, he knows that they're not all going to return. It's great and all that he's got three three lucky survivors, but one is doomed. One could not possibly get what he wants. It's a long haul. And they may not be aware of their ending. They may, may not be aware of their future. But he does. The thought makes him shudder. The first of many years. The sound of the bang echoes in his mind. It never left him that night. Even when all was well and done, even when cheering and sighing of relief afterwards. Bang, 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 clap, 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 constantly. It's a rare condition. It's not, it's called post-traumatic stress disorder, but it's a rare decision. Decision? It's not a decision. It's a condition. It never left. It became who he was. Captain Bang Bang Olimar. He delves deeper.
welcome. The end. Is it happy? Is it sad? Bittersweet or spicy sugar? Nope. Bittersweet, spicy, savory. Doesn't have as much of a ring to it. But there is hope. In fact, no, let's have all three on at once. It would speed up. Do purple Pikmin break down walls faster? On my road to himself. Trying to think of the little bits of innocence in this game. And left and yet, alas, he was pleasantly surprised. For this world knew its cruel and hellish existence. It knew how futile this mission would be. It knew that there would be few remaining. And so, it created itself a brittle version. It gave itself a little bit of hope and glory. Oh, I'm gonna crack an egg. It gives two valiant gifts. He calls one Louis, and the other Hope. He sees them both as one in the same. As much as Louis may not have any hope left with him, or it went with him, he knows that just as much as there is no Louis, the hope that he had is not forgotten. In fact, it's embellished. It's taken in. Same with every other Pikmin that has come and joined us this expedition so far. We've had a loyal crew of 63, not to mention countless Boldmen added. Each had a little soul, had a little heart, had a little hope. And it didn't die with them, no. It stayed, it lingered, and it lies in our final four survivors. Olima, Big Bessie 1, Big Bessie 2, and Big Bertha. And they will relish in this hope, for it may be all they have, but it will never be lost on them. The hope shall linger, as there's still one final task to be done. They could escape, but what at what cost? What would be the value of leaving now, abandoning everyone's dreams, the whole point of the journey in the first place? No. That is not a good life, and that is not a good goodbye. There's only one choice left. We have to face them. They're ready. They're built. They're grown. They've matured. For the sake of... Louis, Bolt, Bim, Bod, everybody. It's great that one could survive, and one shall. But he must be taken down once and for all. For another expedition like this cannot be allowed. No more deaths are an option. With a heavy heart and a, a bit of a gloggy throat, they fight him. The page is stopped. I had something in my mouth. And that's all it wrote. That's all Oliver said. Perhaps that meant he won. Perhaps that meant he lost. But his thoughts were complete. He was happy with the end point. Or at least, he was here. Now, we imagine. How did it end? We're about to find out.
I'm not muted, I'm being quiet. It's taken a while, but there's nothing else to say. It's all written in Louis' notes, Oliver's notes. Debatable. Many words have been said this journey. Many screamed, many whispered. But his final voice, it's a voice of, of triumph, of, of happiness and hope. It would be a lie to say that lives weren't lost, and the day was not regretted. Wetted? Regretted. But at the same time, who truly lost? And as the beast lingered on its final breaths, it knew that its time was over. Its torture would end, It's killers. Reprimanded. This is the amplified amplifier. Thankfully, we have enough to carry it. Because it only needs three? That's impressively light. Wow! I feel like the credits should already be playing. No, not Amplified Amplifier. I'm afraid that's my guess and I don't have any other options. Um, what else could it have been? The loudspeaker? The speed shoes? The really big whistle? The big whistle? There's two whistles and then this gives an upgrade to your whistle. So I don't know. But my lord, thank you for joining us. The little peak of views I saw there. It was quite the, uh... Quite the trial. Professional noisemaker, of course. We shall sacrifice a purple after this. And hey! Look at that! We got our purples back! And what was the cost? A blue Pikmin extinction. Oh, it didn't do the extra big beep. Oh well. This did take forever. Because it was hard. <sighs> wow. A hundred and ten? That's gotta be some kind of record. Three survived! Oh my god! No extinction! We're okay. There's not many of us. But we're okay. Alright. Alright. Unfortunately, one cannot follow. But, that's okay. What time is it? It's almost four o'clock. We've been playing for six hours. Really? Yeah, it's four o'clock on the dot now. Well, you know what? I don't think we're gonna get a better ending. We could continue. We could go to beat the debt. We could go to save Louis. Though he's already dead. In fact, what better an ending? Sure, you could have your lovey-dovey save your friend at the end kind of story 
Or you can have one with a tragic end, but a bittersweet happiness to the end. So I think that's where I'm going to leave this stream today. Especially because it's going to take me at least two hours to actually, you know, get the debt done. We spent hours and hours just in, well, maybe we didn't, but the, the few caves we've been to took a while. We're only at 60% of the debt, I think. Maybe 70. This is where we're going to end. We may do this again, if people are interested. More Pikmin 2, more donations and note and rules. It was fun. Probably one of the most fun I've had playing Pikmin in a while, since doing my Let's Play. But I've only really played it since playing my Let's Play, so I guess it, that's not really an option. It's been quite the journey. I thank you all for joining me. And I'm afraid I'm not going to be playing uh, online with people. You can make your own. But at the same time, I am also still in the middle of running around trying to get uni stuff done. And having an extra two hours would admittedly give me a lot of de-stress. Um, I wasn't planning to leave two hours early, certainly not. But seeing how good this ending is and then putting it into something else, I thought it would help a lot. Thank you, Zora, for following us. Hopefully you'll join us on the next one. Next stream will be this time next week, Saturday, 10 a.m. to... I put 6 p.m. on last time, which means... Uh, yeah, I did. That's normal time. But yeah, that is going to be the plan. We may play more. If, that's, if so, uh, suggest it. I'll be uploading these all on YouTube. Daz Let's Plays YouTube channel. Look for it. Um, slow, eventually. Get it, get it around. And then, yeah, we'll see what we want to do next week. Do people want to see more of this? Are people too out of pocket? Maybe we'll make it a bits only thing, because it seems like people have got plenty of bits. We'll see. But yes, that is the stream. Well done and over. Thank you for watching. Maybe we'll 100% this if there's that much of a demand, but that's our start. The purple survived? Am I seeing this right? No. Yes? What am I seeing here? Thank you, Bomberman, for following. Huh, you donated and you didn't follow? Didn't even realize. Oh well, thank you anyway. Where is that where is that last guy? Where's our last Pikmin? Are we glitched? Yes, there's none three there's none free. We glitched the menu again. But no. When I say play more, I meant like next week. Would uh, would people like to see another episode of Pikmin 2 Super Chat Challenge? Because I like it. The only downside is it does require that sort of donation thing, because it's it's you know. Oh. It's a way of officially having like a few, because if I made it everyone could do everything, it would be a bit clustered. And also, I do need to pay a little bit of money, so it'd be nice to have it. I don't ask for Mark, obviously, just a, a donation. But I'll oh, we'll see. In that case, since there's a lot of yeses there, we'll play more. We'll play a lot more. Do people, here's a question. First of all, what did you think of the super chat idea? It was origi an original of mine. Maybe someone else is doing it, but that's what I've got doing. Do you prefer do you like the fact that it's Pikmin or the fact that it's super chat or the fact that it's both that it's different and it's new to the to the game? Hello 42 people, you've joined at the end. Don't worry. Go back and watch the vod of this cuz it's quite the, it's quite the trial. We just did the submerged castle. Very good idea. Nice. Both. Okay. Because I was thinking, I was thinking of doing this like every three or six months with different games. If people like the super chat sort of side series, I might do it more. It's just got that controversial side of, hey, you have to pay money to play. But you don't have to. In that case, like, I was also thinking, I was originally going to do, I was, the original, original plan was uh, eight hours of Pikmin 2 super chat. And then on the Sunday, four hours of Pikmin 1 super chat. But I don't have Pikmin 1 on the Wii right now. I'm getting it when I go home, because it's there. And also, I didn't have the Sunday free. But we could do that soon. It's only four hours. Should do it with different games? I would love to. That would be good. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of if people would want to see it and people aren't gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. This is clearly money grabbing game. It's like, I'm not. It was just a little bit of help on the side. But, nah. I'm glad to know this was a success as, as much as I hoped it would be. Um, as a bit of a, a sad admission at the end, this originally, I, play, I came up with this idea six months ago during the summer holidays, and I was like, 
I'm gonna do this over Christmas and it's going to be a charity event. I was gonna make it so that we raise money for some charity. Um, there's a specific one that I really like that it's close to my heart that I wanted to do. But in the end, I apologize, but I had to sort of turn it into money going to me because this last month has been a little tricky. It's I'm in a good place in that every side of my life is going well. You know, my socials, my friendships, my uni work, my careers, my success, my hobbies. And, you know, YouTube has plummeted me. And obviously I haven't been earning money on Twitch until this point. So, I unfortunately had to switch it to money coming to me because I'm, uh, I'm not able... I'm, a I'm able to pay rent. I've got savings, but I'm earning less than I earn, than I have to pay for rent. And my rent's pretty cheap. I'm not getting paid very much, which is why I had to switch it over. I hope it doesn't annoy anyone. But I would like to make a- Oh look, Louis getting alive! Oh, that's cool. What is he? Maybe it was just a hallucination on Olam's part. But no. If in either three months or six months time, I'm in a good financial spot, I promise that we'll do a big charity event. Whether it's Super Chat or something else, I really want to do a charity event, and I'm really upset with myself that I, you know, I had to basically make myself the charity. But I'm gonna do a charity stream, and I, I hope I can do it soon. I'd probably do it only every three months anyway, so at least three months time. But, um, nah. I hope I can satisfy people with that. It'll be an idea. We'll see. You should do extra life next year. No idea what that is. I'll 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 look it up. I've got a holiday off after tomorrow. And then I'll get to research everything. But yeah. Right. It's nice to see, you know, it's no problem. You deserve the money. Thank you. I just don't want to ask for it or beg for it, you know? Which is why I was a bit iffy coming to this. Because it's like, hey, give me money or I won't play. Obviously that wasn't quite the case, but, you know. 292 deaths in how many days? not gonna tell us. Day nine. Whew. Okay. But yes. Anyway. I'm going to end it off here. The animals you adopt that adopted me are actually rather cute. That's good to know. Vaporeon, thank you for following. Sorry you showed up at the end, but I hope I was entertaining if you've been watching for a while, and if not, you can check back on the video and see how it goes there. Built a nice little refuge. That's nice. I'm scarily almost relating to the president. Ugh. Anyway, on that note, I am officially going to end up here. Sorry for the rambling outro, but that's how things are, apparently. Right. For now, I'm going to put my controller on the right side of itself. My foot is very clearly planted on the ground. I no longer have to remember names or enemies. The clapping. One final clap for the stream entirely and those that have fallen beforehand. That one purple at the end. Anything else, I can turn the camera, but I can't right here. And any other rules, thank you very much for putting them my way. I'll see you again next week, same time, for more Pikmin 2, maybe Pikmin 1. We'll see how things go. But for now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.